Hey, hey, here with Easy Jeezy. Today, we're making regular brakes into power brakes. And what we're talking about is on my new desert race car, new to me. I've been checking things over, been working on the engine. I got it running yesterday, took it around the block, and it took way more pedal pressure than I would normally like. And you will find that this is true when you run these larger oversized tires. Uh, that stock wheel and tire right there weighs about 30 pounds. I just weighed it on the refrigeration scale. That uh, big American tire, that big 08 all-terrain truck tire uh, on the steel wheel weighs about 60 pounds. The desert track behind it on a steel wheel is about 8 pounds less. And then I've got an aluminum wheel over there, which is even 4 pounds lighter than that. So uh, when you've got these big wheels and tires, rims and stuff, uh, turning us like big flywheels. And this is one of the reasons why you uh, have to be careful of your clutch. And if you don't want to break transmissions, you know, when you engage that stuff, you, you have a lot of mass that you're trying to get moving. So uh, it's even harder to stop it. Now, this had a standard wheel cylinder that was on the back, uh, swing axle, rear brake, say between the years 61 and 67 uh, so when I took the brake drum off it fought me most of the way and that was because one of these little pins that holds the uh, uh, there's a spring on here and it holds the holds this up against the the brake shoe inside there nice so that it always sits flat and stays in its place well look at this one Look at that end right there. It's, that's supposed to be straight. It's not supposed to have a dog leg in it like that. That's supposed to be straight. So when you put pressure on it, that was cocking everything all up. The, the pin was completely missing on the back side over here. And what that does, you can see on the inside of the drum where the shoe has gone over to the side and been rubbing on the side, made a groove over here. This is just potential hazard waiting to happen if these had been stuck in there farther and got hung up on the shoe it could have seized up tangled everything up in there and then you'd be stuck out there uh, in the desert it looks like a good drum and uh, I have an old set of shoes because I don't throw anything away but what I decided to do while I was in here messing with stuff uh, it looked like it had a new uh, bleed valve on it and I thought oh yeah it looks like it's pretty good and the uh, somebody had put a stainless steel flex line over here on the back that you need and I thought well that looks professional that looks like they spent some money and and uh, hopefully the brakes won't be something I have to mess with right away now what I've done as uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts I have a hub store right close to me this is a front wheel cylinder I took the rear front rear wheel cylinder it goes on like this and I don't know if you can tell the difference here on the camera but the top one is a 22 millimeter and the bottom one is a 19 millimeter what I've done is take a, a front and I've put it on the back now that gives you more power because a car has bias towards the front when you're driving down the road going from you know to the right here on your screen and you step on the brakes the back of the car lifts up the front car the weight shifts to the front so your front brakes usually are doing more work than the back brakes so they make the leverage work when you have a master cylinder it's critical when you switch to guys ask me this on my video about my disc brake conversion on the on the tub buggy i had to get a larger master cylinder small master cylinder large brake cylinder gives you a lot of power now this is an aftermarket pedal assembly. It's a Neo pedal assembly or something. I have no idea what it is, but I did press on the brakes and they sucked. So I like them to work a little better. And in the future, I might add a cutter brake, but I'm trying to keep this low dollar as I can right now. I haven't decided whether I want to keep this car. It looks like a lot of fun, but I'm already having issues as far as where I'm going to keep this thing and uh, whether or not I'm going to enclose this trailer or uh, the you know what I'm gonna do so I don't want to get off on a jag this is about breaks here so uh, make sure that uh, there's a little trick you can take a front wheel cylinder from a similar year and put it on the back um, if you're working with a ball joint type car um, you may have to file a little bit on the bolt hole I don't recommend doing this on the street just for liability reasons I'm gonna say that don't do this on a street car daily driver wink wink but for an off-road toy where you're just out in the dirt and nobody's around you you're not in traffic 
and in a death-defying situation other than what you cause for yourself. Uh, because if you were to get in an accident and somebody was to get hurt or killed and they found out that you messed with your brakes, then you would be liable. You see? That's why when you take a car to a mechanic, he has, there's limitations. They have to do things by law. They have to do things a certain way. They won't just, uh, you know, cobble things up because they have to take a certain amount of responsibility if they do something horribly wrong. So this is what you pay for when you go to a mechanic. But you, you can learn this stuff, and I'm trying to show you some tricks. I've been doing this for so many years, it's unreal. I've had brake issues on other cars before, and this is a trick. And uh, I think Jeff Hubbard's book, um, Bajas and Dune Buggies or something like that, it's an old book. I think he may even talk about it in that book, but uh, out on the sand, all of us guys used to do that. I'm going to put this thing back together and start on the other side. I just, as long as I had this apart, I figured I'd, I'd help you review it. Uh, I got this other side done, and I was just about to put the drum on, and uh, I noticed it had a little crack here, and it looks like it goes all the way through. Isn't that something? So... Time for a new drum. Oh boy. Almost forgot to turn you on. I was having so much fun. pedal to me or the seat closer one or the other Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy, out.